All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, you know, coming off the game, uh, you know, I was really, uh, really proud of our guys, you know, getting a chance to go back and watch the film. Um, you know, it was a hard fought battle. Um, you know, it was a lot of back and forth, you know, momentum swings. Uh, you know, we had some, some really positive moments and then some, some mistakes that uh, made things a lot more interesting than, than I believe it needed to be. But, uh, you know, just like I told the team yesterday, you know, sometimes you have to have to go through things to be able to get through things. And uh, you know, we needed to see a game ending on the last play uh, where we were able to find success. And you know, the thing that I really, you know, looking back at it, you know, the thing that I appreciated uh, was it took all three phases. Um, you know, defense getting a stop there uh, in a, in a two minute late. You know, offense having a minute to, uh, to have to, to have to go down the field to put them in a put us in a position, and then you know we had to go execute a a field goal on the last play to be able to win it. And uh, to see our guys respond in that in in that fashion, uh, to see the joy, the excitement, um, you know, the celebration afterwards, uh, something that we need as a football team you know there's not been uh, you know not been a lot of moments where you know we've we've been able to finish um, a game in that fashion and that's what we needed to be able to do uh, so I thought it was a, a great outcome for us it's something that we have to be able to build upon it's something that uh, um, you know just like I told the guys yesterday I mean you can go watch the film and you could see a lot of the um, uh, the, the things that we emphasize, you know, why they allowed us to be productive. You know, we were eight of, you know, eight of 17 on our cash down situations, you know, third and fourth downs combined, uh, you know, offensively, you know, being able to sustain drives, uh, you had success, you know, two of 15 defensively, you know, had the, uh, um, you know, a lot of big stops getting off of the field. Um, you know, look at the red zone, you know, we were able to get us some uh, some stops holding the field goals, uh, had the fourth, uh, the goal line stand, uh, you know, there defensively, and then we're six for six offensively. Um, penalty you know, you know, only, you know, only had three for uh, I think it was three for thirty in the game. Um, you know, there's still area for improvement there, but you see growth and steps from our football team of you know playing better football. You know, on the flip side of it, you know, we had the uh, the turnover. We had two turnovers. You know, we're in eight, um, you know there in the course of the game had the one uh, you know muff punt. Um, you know, we had, uh, you know, the uh, the interception, which was a, you know, something we have you know, have to clean up. But then you know, also you, you look in special teams. We had we had some real missed opportunities. You know, gave up you know gave up too many yards in the return game. Um, you know, on our kickoff coverage, and then you know our our you know punt return and, and kickoff return game has to get better and has to improve. We, we spend too much time uh, and emphasis of that throughout the course of practice for it not to show up. And you know, whether it's some indecisiveness, um, you know, you know there or just, you know, uh uh, a lack of production maybe at, 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 at certain positions that we have to improve on. So, you know, continuing to, as a team, understand the sense of urgency of growth and, and uh, the areas that we have to improve in. But, you know, all in all, I was uh, really proud that uh, we were, like I said, we were able to come out with a victory. Um, and now at a, uh, a, a new and great challenge, uh, um, you know, here approaches here on Saturday, having to go on the road, you know, North Carolina is a very explosive football team. Um, you, you look at you know, you know, not only how they play, but you know, especially how they play at home. Uh, you know, this is a team that's played extremely well the last couple of years. Uh, you know, they're they're at home. It's a you know a, a very dynamic you know offense. Um, you know, surrounded by a, you know that that goes around a quarterback that uh, you know is very talented. Uh, defensively, it's a, it's a unit that's going to attack. You know, they're going to bring a lot of pressure. Uh, show you multiple fronts. Um, you know, one that uh, you do definitely definitely can uh, create havoc for, for, for an offense and then you know special teams they, they've got they've got some talented athletes so um, you know we've got to we've got to put forth our, our best effort this week we've got to continue to grow um, and we've got to see those things that, uh, that that allowed us to have success the other day you know they've got to, they've got to be able to show up and we've got to eliminate the mistakes uh, if we want to put ourselves in a position to uh, to achieve success on Saturday. Oh yeah and the one thing that I do want to uh, uh, to hit on is that um, you know some uh, extremely unfortunate news, but uh, Dennis Briggs will be out for the rest of the season. Um, you know, Dennis was having a, a great year. He missed this last week. Um, you know, his last week's game, and uh, you know, unfortunately, you know, he'll he'll not be able to play uh, uh, for the rest of the season. But uh, you know, really, just um, you know. It, the, the growth that, that I got to see from him throughout the early part of the year and just the work they put in the off season, you know, it's unfortunate, especially on the play that it happened on, um, you know, is, is just something that, 
you know, it, you know, he showed tremendous toughness coming in and playing the rest of the game. And just, uh, um, but uh, you know, as as we were able to to look at things after the game, I mean, just something, um, you know, that he's not going to be able to continue on for with this for the rest of this year. Um, but uh, you're excited about what Dennis's future holds and just what he means to this team. Um, you know, we you know we're hopeful that some of the guys you know were without Malcolm this last week, so we were extremely thin on the defensive front last week. We were extremely thin at the end of the secondary last week, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to get some of these guys back uh, for, the, for the week ahead. First question will be Ira, over to you, right? After the game, the, the players we spoke to, it seemed like there were some mixed emotions, you know, joyous about getting a win, but then also knowing there, there's a lot of room for improvement. Is that what you've seen from the team since then, on, after the game Saturday and then again? So. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and you know, you, Winning a college football game is hard. We've seen how close. I mean, we've had to, to think that we've had three games that have come down to the last play, four games that have been on the last drive. Um, that uh, yeah, that's the, the margins are very small, and uh, you know the the. the the detail, the the effort that goes into that, um, you know, the execution of what what's necessary to be able to achieve success. Um, but you know, we want to play our best game, and uh, you know, as a football team, we were extremely excited to get to win. I mean, like I said, we needed that. Um, but you go back and you watch it, and you see that there's uh, there's a lot of areas for improvement that maybe we're not playing to the standard that we're able to, that we're capable of, and um, you know. You look at it defensively, and you know I thought I really like. I, mean, I thought all in all, I really liked our plan, liked the the the, um, the course of the attack of what we were doing. But um, you know, you have essentially you know you know three plays on you know quarterback boots where we were you know poor tackling, uh, poor effort on a couple of them. Uh, you know, just in, in different places um, that we allowed you know a lot bigger uh, a lot bigger plays. Um, you know, over 100 yards of total offense on three you know non-designed quarterback scrambles um, that you know we were in position. Position. And you know, we've got to be able to finish those plays, um, which, which you know, allowed points and allowed you know uh, those explosives that hurt us. But um, you know, I think you know, as a football team, you know, you see that on in, in all three phases. That you know, you go back and you watch you watch you watch the tape, and it's a, a play here, a detail, a, a, um, you know, maybe a missed assignment that that showed up um, that you know we've got to get corrected. And uh, you know, I'll say that was. Was a lot less, um, you know, as as we went through it. But you know, you know, every play counts and every play matters. So I mean, I think our guys, you know, they they had that sense of urgency. I thought last night's practice. I mean, you saw guys that played, you know, pretty well that came out, you know, body sore and you know, you know all those things. But they came out with a with a true intent to get better. And that's uh, that's what we have to do. That's what we have to continue to do uh, throughout the course of the season. Uh, I know how happy you were for Jordan to get that moment. I guess going back and watching the film, what did that show you about? I mean, obviously the, the screen game was a big part of kind of what was that intentional of just giving him kind of easy things to work with and hoping that can build momentum and then just all his overall performance. Yeah, I mean, I think I think a lot of it was depending on what we were getting, and uh, you know that was a, a defense that was attacking from a lot of different a lot of different places. Um, you know, that was just perimeter run game for us. I mean, if you really look at uh, you know, some of the things that uh, we were trying to do, and uh, you know, I thought Jordan executed really. Well, um, you know, there's some, still some things in our perimeter blocking that we have to be better at. Um, but uh, you know, I, I thought Jordan was able to get in a rhythm. You know, uh, we, you know, they got that was a team that was averaging four and a half sacks a game, and you know, we knew they were gonna that there would be times that they were they would get pressure. But you know, I thought we had a couple opportunities pushing the ball down the field that we weren't able to to, to capitalize on, and that's something we're gonna have to improve on. You know, moving forward, but uh, you know, all in all, I thought Jordan managed the game well, and uh, you know, not only you know, with what he did with his with his arms, but but uh, you know, also you know with his feet as well, and, and so um, you know, I was really pleased with his performance and the efficiency which he operated. You talk about special teams being the backbone of your program and something you guys obviously devote a great deal of time to. Do you adjust how you approach it with them, or is it just maybe rotating guys to see if different guys give different results, or how do you just go about trying to correct? I mean, something? it's it's a performance based, and um, you know we've got to we've got to make sure that uh, you know guys get their opportunities. Uh, you know, sometimes when you're down you're down numbers, and you know, guys are are having to play more reps, you know, offensively and defensively, it does it does tend to get into your depth, um, and that's shown up a little bit, and, and showed up in some key some key places. And uh, but at, at the end of the day, you know, it, it's an Opportunity to impact, and uh, you know we've got to we've got to perform at a high level. Um, you know, you guys know you guys are at practice. You see the, the investment that we the, that we take, and you know something I've all I've, I've always done, and, and something I always will do. Uh, so we're not, uh, but 
you know, you, we got to take take the, the tools that we have and, uh, um, you know, the, the personnel that we have and, and make sure that we're putting in a great position. And then uh, you guys got to go out there and, and take ownership and perform in, in that moment. But, uh, you know, I believe that, uh, you know, I believe we've got really good, um, you know, and very capable guys that can make a, that can make a positive impact. And, and it, there's there's some real positive things that we're seeing. I mean, we you know, our punt, our punt unit was able to flip the field the other day. I mean, I thought our punt coverage uh, was really good. Um, you know, we had our opportunities in our in our punt return game. Uh, just you know, it, for one one reason or the other, uh, we're not able to, to capitalize on the ex, on the explosive. And I mean, those those things that um, you know, we just we have to be better and more consistent in that. But um, you know, we're going to continue to work away at it and, and go get it done. Coach, you had a successful drive with a minute and four to go to to kick the field goal to win. Um, could you talk a little bit about how you managed the clock in that situation, and particularly when there was nine seconds left? Uh, what was the thought process uh, on kicking the field goal right then? Yeah, you know, we had uh, we had three timeouts going into the drive, so you know, we had, it was you know, as as we told our players, it felt like we had an eternity just to really be able to to move the ball down the field. You know, we started off with a uh, with a, a, a dual read screen. Um, you were able to get a few yards. Didn't re you did not use the timeout? Wanted to go with the tempo. We had had some success earlier in the game. Um, you know, utilizing you know tempo in those situations. Um, you know. Obviously, that you know also allowed you know, Jordan as things as things got to space and gave him an opportunity. Um, you know, actually hit a hit a big run there on the second play. You know, had great downfield blocking by our receivers. I thought uh, I thought that was you know you always challenge your players. You know, when when is effort going to show up on film to make the difference? And uh, um, you know, we had three receivers on that on that play that uh, you were able to scream Cam. Was able to wall his guy out, you know, two receivers down the field, uh, and then Jordan, you know, being able to go down the sideline, I thought was huge. Um, but then, you know, as we went through it, you know, we, we were able to use a timeout uh, early. We still had two um, on Jordan's last scramble where we got inside in, in very comfortable field goal range. Um, you know, the decision of, you know, do you want to do you want to take a risk of putting, you know, anything in jeopardy, knowing you're in, in good position. Um, you know, I felt confident where we were. Uh, we knew Ryan, you know, you know, liked the ball there left, left middle, um, you know, as, as we could get set. Uh, so we decided we made a decision to, to, to set him up to go to go finish and win the game. And so, um, you know, we, we a play that we work in practice and uh, you're able to middle it. And then Ryan went and, um, you know, you know, finish the job, and so um, you know, I felt felt good about where we were, and you know, it was kind of a balance of, you know, do you want to do you want to take a risk of getting a negative, or do you want or putting the ball in jeopardy? But we felt like we were in a great range to be able to, to finish the game, and uh, so that's what we did. Uh, Maurice may not have been 100. percent I know he didn't start the game, but I think he ended up playing the, the majority of the snaps. I guess just how much of a difference did he make there? And I mean, that was the first time you'd had probably your desired starting five since the first half of the Notre Dame game. Just how much can that be yeah. something to build around? No, it was it was really good. And uh, you know, um, you know, Bavion's battled you know throughout the the early part of the season, and you know he, he's he's been battling through uh, um, you know some some ailments I would say physically as well but uh, um, you know as, as we went through the game you know Maurice we knew he was going to be available uh, there uh, I guess Friday and then you know fully confirmed that Saturday in pregame, but uh, um, we, we were going to use him in a reserve fashion as he got out there and got going. You know, he felt uh, he felt good and, um, you know, was I thought, you know, even though he didn't play a, uh, you know, you know, a perfect game by any stretch, there were still some things that he was, you know, that, that um, you got to get back into the rhythm of uh, of you know you playing, and I thought that showed up a little bit. But I thought uh, Maurice really you know did a very nice job for uh, for the opportunities that he had. Um, you know that's gonna that's gonna allow us to continue to grow and uh, build that continuity that we have uh, you know, up front. You know we're still you know still managing guys that are that are you know getting their bodies uh, you know getting their bodies right. You know it's a uh, uh, a lot of um, you know adversity has faced that group uh, you know here through the early part of the season. But uh, you know they're working hard at it and. Uh, you know, it's good to get you know Maurice back into the swing of it. Come over here to bring them on the front row. Mike, you know, you're always talking about responding to adversity for Cam. He, he misses that block on the interception, but then you mentioned he has the big block for Jordan's play. How proud of you to see to see him respond that way, and for Keyshawn too for not having a couple of great games in a row. And for him to have a touchdown and block the way he did for both those guys. For yeah, I mean, I think they're two great examples. You know, um, you know, Cam, you know, you know, Cam plays a lot of snaps. We asked Cam to do a lot of different things at, at that at H back tight end position, and so um, you know, it was a play that 
you know, he was, you know, on the interception that he was extremely disappointed in. And, uh, you know, it's, you know, at, at the time it, it was a huge, huge play in the game. But, you know, the things that he could control is what he did, you know, after that. And uh, to go out there, you know, Cam has, has played well for us this year. And, um, you know, he gives great effort, you know, the way that he, he comes to work at practice. I mean, he's been, um, you know, he was he was banged up a little bit last week and it was one of the, probably the first times since I've been here uh, that he wasn't available for, for every day in practice, um, you know, in, in in, in full capacity, and so um, when you get out there in the game, there's some things that you know may, maybe you've worked, maybe you haven't worked as much. Uh, you know, when it comes to technique and fundamentals, and uh, you know, and so as 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 Cam, you know, you know had a play or or, or maybe a, an assignment here or there, you know, it, the the thing that he could control was what he did with it. And uh, you know, I thought he played really hard, uh, was productive in the pa as a pass receiver, and uh, you did some good things uh, as well blocking. But I mean, the effort at the end was what showed up, and it ended up being a huge play uh, that helped us. You know, put us in a position to win it. Right, next we'll go back left for Allison. Hey, Coach. I, you mentioned just how important this win was from just a mental standpoint. How was practice yesterday? How was the attitude in the locker room? Just the mindset was a little different than in weeks prior? I mean, guys are, I mean, they're still passionate about improvement, and that's what we have to do. And, uh, you know, there was no, it was, you know, you want to have. I mean, it's it's hard to win a college football game. It doesn't doesn't matter when you know you know what year, what time. I mean, it's always you know it's it's a lot of investment that goes into it. Um, but you know, that was an emotional emotional win just because of how the game uh, you know played out. And um, but I, I thought our guys uh, there was a there was a fair balance of of the excitement of a win. The the, the, the um, the celebration that you get to have, but also the sense of urgency for improvement, and that's that is our, our ultimate focus. Is that you know are we playing our best football, and you know in the in the areas that you come up short, or the areas that um, um, you know maybe uh, you know there there are flaws in your game. You know what are the steps that we're taking? You know learning from those examples, and uh, you know, I thought that I, I thought Saturday provided um, you know a great you know a great picture to to things that we did well that allowed us to win and then things that we have to improve if we want to continue to grow and play to what, to the level that we're capable. Come back to Brandon. I wanted to ask about Keyshawn as well, uh, and he had a good week of practice, like you said, for him to kind of bounce back from a couple of rough weeks to, to perform the way he did on, on Yeah, Saturday. I mean, you know, Keyshawn is a, is a great leader for us. Uh, you know, he's a guy that, um, you know, he comes to work every day. Uh, he's had some ups and downs throughout the course of the season, some missed opportunities. But, uh, you, know, you know, his heart, his passion, I mean, it, it shows up. And, uh, you know, for him to go out there and play at a high level was something this football team needs. And, uh, you know, we're going to, you know, he's got to continue to do uh, for us to operate the way that we need, uh, that, that we need to, uh, to play there offensively. You mentioned being thin in the secondary. You guys have played, I don't, I don't know how many different combinations in the back end. Um, has that been part of the the issue with some of the breakdowns back there, just because you've had to use so many different guys? Or what, what do you think the reasons are? I mean, uh, you know, I think there's, it, it, it all plays into it. I mean, we've had, we've had a lot of injuries sometimes, you know, with guys, uh, um, we've had guys that have had to sit out halves of games, um, you know, due to, to, you know, targeting issues there early in the season. I think three of the games that we were down to safety, you know, um, you know, for, for, a, for a half of a game. And so I think they're part of that communication, you know, plays into it, but then, um, you know, there's there's things that uh, that have shown up. You know, you know, in in twofold, just one technique and fundamentals, and the confidence in that uh, throughout. Uh, which I thought for the last you know game and a half. I mean, I think our secondary is, is really taking some some positive steps. Uh, we had you know one you know uh, a crossing route where there was a you know there was a. Uh, you know, a quick motion that showed up that that um, you know we got to be better on, but that was you know all in all, I thought we matched routes really well uh, in the game. Uh, there was you know, there was a couple of a couple of climb routes that you know we got to be better on. Um, but you know, through, throughout the course of the game, I, I mean, I thought our guys did a nice job. But they're starting to continue to grow in that. You know, I thought uh, our Jarquez McClellan, uh, you know, was somebody that came in and uh, you know played the, his most extensive snaps, uh, you know, there on Saturday and did some good things. Um, but uh, you know, it's it's you know the intensity. That, you know, we talked about this last week. The intensity that you bring into walkthroughs to the meeting room to to you know individual and carrying that over to team throughout the practice week. If you can get yourself to that game type 
you know, uh, intensity. Uh, it, it's going to allow you to have that much more confidence when you're there in the moment. And I think uh, last week was probably our best week, you know, in the defensive backfield of, of trying to apply that. And it showed up. It, it showed up better there on game day. And that's something we're going to have to continue to grow with, um, you know, with the youth that we have, with a lot of the moving, uh, the moving pieces that have shown up. I mean, you know, that's that's something that that's going to be critical for us as we grow. Coach, what are some of the things you guys have tried to demonstrate to Jordan that shows that you guys trust in him? And what are some of the things that he's shown to you guys that demonstrates that he, he trusts you guys? Well, I mean, you know, at, at the end of the day, you know, you get, you get an opportunity to come out to work. Um, you know, there on the practice field, Joe Jordan's had a had a challenge at the beginning of the season. You know, just with you know different things, you know, injury wise. Um, you know, um, you know there were some there were some times this and. and and confidence in, of, of going out there and playing at a, at a high level. You know, I, I thought that, uh, you know, the Notre Dame game, he did a lot of good things. There was a handful of plays that, you know, that he would have liked to have back. Um, you know, it, you know, it's just as you're growing as a young quarterback, it's just the, the experience and the repetition of it. You know, uh, you know Jordan Travis, you know, started the, it started the season as our starting quarterback for a reason. Um, you know, we believe in him, and we believe in what he can do, and and what he brings to this football team and this offense. And you know, you know, I, his, avail his availability has been a little bit limited. You know, from from that point uh, to now. And you know, I thought last week. I mean, you know, to say that he was 100% on Wednesday was. I mean, it's he's he's battling, and uh, you know, he came out and you know, you show he showed his you know, the 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 opportunity, the confidence that he has in this team and and this offense and what we can be I mean he's pushing through and uh, you know I thought he had a really good day uh, Wednesday and um, you know obviously just the the way that he's been in the meeting room the the, the even when he's not been on the field you know, the, the how engaged he's been in trying to help the other guys in that room um, you know that's that's how you build trust and it's uh, you know even though it's sometimes it, it where it's you're not able to physically make an impact when you're still willing to invest to make an impact in others. Um, you know, it, it, that's you know, it shows that you're trustworthy. And uh, you know, you know, this week um, or this past week when we knew that uh, that he was going to be you know, able to play at a very high level. I mean, you know, he he got the call, and uh, um, you know, he went out there and performed, and you know, gave everything that he had, and um, you know, you know helps win that football game. Coach, I'm curious, uh, the number of missed tackles on Saturday, did, did you quantify that? And, and then how much of it is a reflection of getting guys experience, but also alignment, technique, fundamentals, those kind of aspects? Are you saying the second question tied to the first? Well, the first one, I'm curious if you have a number of how many missed tackles there were. Yeah, I mean, there was, you know, the number of missed tackles showed up, you know, on, on really a handful of plays. And, uh, you know, a lot of that would be, came down to tracking issues. Um, you know, the, got to give credit. You know, their their quarterback was a big, you know, you know, tough uh, tough guy to handle in some situations. But you know, it's still just you know things that we work every day when it comes to, to tracking and and making sure that we're putting ourselves in the best position uh, to achieve success. You know, I think you know throughout the course of you know looking at this season, um, you know that has been a you know we have been a much better tackling team. You know, as a whole, um, you know, in the open field now, those. Those things on the on the you know about 100 130 yards of of uh, offense that was produced off of missed tackles and that's that has to get corrected and so um, you know but it was it was a really limited plays where we didn't tackle very well um, but you know those are the ones that are going to hurt you so um, you know we you know we came back yesterday and it's still the same it's the same process of growth when it comes to fundamentals you know regardless of who's on the field whether it's it's offense. Defense, special teams, you take those core fundamentals and they got to apply over. Um, you know, we missed a couple tackles there in special teams uh, that, that cost us in, in some returns. And so, I mean, it's, it's everybody has to invest in those situations. And, uh, you know, I believe we're, we're, we're building confidence through that. But, you know, obviously it's got to be every play. And there were some, there were some big plays that showed up there on, on Saturday that hurt us with that. For a couple more, if anybody has anything else? Hey, Coach, uh, TV cameras showed you kind of using the lateral play to Pokey that Andrew picked up and ran it for a touchdown. TV cameras kind of showed you using that as a teaching moment with Andrew. Did, did he do something wrong in that situation? Yeah, it was, it was, a, it was a teaching moment. Um, yeah, I thought, you know, uh, yeah, I appreciated Andrew's effort uh, in the finish. You know, balls on the ground. You know, something you talk about all the time. Balls on the ground. You got to finish the play. Um, you know, there's, you know, 
one of the things that uh, you know assignments and responsibilities for where they play. Um, you know, I thought he could have been quicker in reacting to to, to what we saw and uh, be able to help the play. Um, you know, maybe maybe execute how we did, how we would have liked to have seen it. But um, you know, definitely grateful that he finished the play and um, you know got a good got a good bounce, got a good finish, and uh, you know, scored a touchdown. So I don't want to waste that moment to teach him an example that might be able to help him moving forward. And uh, you know, glad we scored. When you have some success on the, you know, we all talked about the, the failed fourth down tries. When you have some success on those, um, on both sides, um, and also just short yardage in general, um, what does that do for confidence when you get in those situations moving forward? Uh, I mean, just it's, you know, kind of like what we, we talked about at the beginning. I mean, it's, you know, it, it's, it tests you when you are, when you do not have success. And, you know, it's, when you get those fourth down, it's fourth down and two, first drive of the game, midfield. You know, what are you going to do? You know, what do you believe in? What is, you know, I mean, where I'm not going to blindly, if I don't feel good about the call, don't feel good about the situation, what we expect, you know, then you know, we're going to play the game, you know, what we feel gives us the best chance to be able to win. But to go out there and, and to see that the execution of it and, you know, be able to put ourselves in a position to gain points, um, that's big. You know, to see guys when we're down on the one, you know, one inch line, um, you know, and defensively, you know, that's, as a big quarterback, and you know, Kalen Deloach. I mean, that you talk about, you know, form-fitting tackle and playing with great paddle, running feet. I mean, that was a that was a huge play, and then the swarm of our defense to keep him out of the end zone. I mean, those are those are things that you can definitely build upon, and just you know, because you've gone through it, because you you know now have that that example of, of you know that you can, and you build a little bit of that positive momentum. You know, I think it, I think it could do wonders for you, uh, you know, as you move forward, and you know that's. Just like this game, I mean, uh, it, you know, it, it showed if it comes down to one play, if it comes down to a last drive, that you know, offense, defense, special teams all played its role in in getting the job done. You know, I think it needed to be as as close as it was. I mean, that's that's a whole other issue, but it but it became that, and our guys were able to finish and they were able to go win the game, um, and that was something that we needed to see and. If it shows up here in, in this week, next week, whenever that next opportunity uh, that it's going to come down to a last play, our guys are going to have that confidence that they can go do it. And uh, you know, it's uh, I'm really you know proud of them for uh, the work that they put in that. But uh, you know, every one of those experiences are big. It, you know, as you build confidence moving forward, individually in a game on on a side of ball, but then you know, even as a program of, of you know where what you're trying to accomplish and what you can do. All right, thank you, Coach. All right thanks, guys.